Now that we have discussed about cylinder and its special case as a right circular cylinder. Now let's see how a cylinder is constructed from a rectangle. This is quite interesting because if I have this rectangle out here on the plane whiteboard, how do I construct a cylinder from this rectangle as taken? So imagine this sheet of paper which is rectangular length and width of certain dimensions. If I roll this exactly, if I just roll out here, it forms a cylinder. We assume that this paper which is rolled forms a cylinder out here and down out here it's open. So a cylinder formed through a rectangular sheet of paper is how we're going to understand. So this session is about understanding the construction of a cylinder from a rectangular sheet of paper. Cylinder from a rectangle, from a rectangular sheet As we have seen, a rectangular sheet of paper, when rolled, forms a cylinder. It is very important to note that a cylinder which is formed from a rectangular sheet of paper is understood to be with what could be the length of the cylinder when compared to the rectangle. If the rectangle has the dimensions length and breadth, what could be the length of the cylinder is the biggest question. So here when I take the sheet of paper like this, I have my height which is nothing but the breadth. The breadth of the rectangle will be the height of the cylinder because as clearly seen we have this is length and this is breadth. So when I roll this cylinder it is nothing but the height remains constant, doesn't change. That is the breadth of the rectangle when rolled forms a cylinder of height with the same dimension as B. So the breadth of the rectangle will be the breadth or the height of the cylinder. So first thing we note is the breadth of the rectangular sheet is the height of the cylinder formed. As can be clearly seen here, the breadth of the rectangle is the height of the cylinder as formed. And the length of the rectangle, let's see what happens to the length of the rectangle. As we just take this and roll, this length of the rectangle forms to become the circumference of the circle. So here, the second point which I identify is that the length of the rectangle, rectangular sheet, the length of the rectangular sheet is the circumference of the cylinder that is the circular region formed. So the length of the rectangular sheet is the circumference as can be seen here. This is the circumference forms with the length of the rectangle. So breadth becomes the height of the cylinder and the length becomes the circumference of the cylinder. So let's see how they are related. But the same sheet of paper which is a rectangle now becomes a cylinder. The same rectangular sheet now becomes a cylinder. Is the cylinder curved and with a circle. 
Now that we have discussed about a cylinder which is derived from a rectangular sheet of paper, now let's see what could be the surface area of a cylinder. The topic says surface areas and volumes and hence now that we have discussed about cylinder, let's see what is the surface area of a cylinder. So in this case, I see that a rectangular sheet with, let's see, the curved surface area of a cylinder. Let's come back to the rectangular sheet of paper when rolled forms a cylinder. Therefore, the same area as occupied by the sheet of paper will be the same area as occupied by the curved region of the cylinder. Is how we understand the same sheet of paper occupying the same surface area when it forms a cylinder. So therefore, here we identify that surface area of a rectangle of a rectangular sheet of paper is equal to the same curved surface area of a cylinder curved surface area of a cylinder formed from it so this cylinder is formed from it so surface area of a rectangular sheet of paper is nothing but curved surface area of a cylinder so the, when we want to find curved surface area of a cylinder we connect that with area of rectangle so here curved surface area which i denote by csa of a cylinder is nothing but area of rectangle that is length into breadth but my length which forms the circumference as seen in the previous case this gives me the circumference 2 pi r and this gives me the height h so length becomes 2 pi r and the breadth becomes height therefore csa of a cylinder is 2 pi r h unit square is how we understand the curved surface area of a cylinder if this is a cylinder the curved surface area is only the curved part but not including the top and bottom so curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h unit square pi is 3.14 r is the radius and h is the height so r is the radius of the circle and h is the height of the cylinder is how we understand curved surface area of a cylinder 2 pi r h now that we have discussed about curved surface area there are other possibilities what if i take a cylinder which is closed both on the top and the bottom lid what if i have a cylinder which has a lid which is closed so let's take the different cases of a closed cylinder so this session is about finding the total surface area of a closed cylinder so imagine i take a cylinder Not here and the radius of the cylinder say is r and the height is h now here the difference is that this cylinder is closed both at the top and bottom so this is a closed 
cylinder. This is a cylinder which is closed both at the top and bottom. So here it is closed and even down the cylinder is closed. So a cylinder which is closed on the top and bottom. Let's see what could be the surface area of this kind of a cylinder. So here we have total surface area total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h because it is nothing but the curved surface area which is the curved part plus the top and the bottom like for example I take this the total surface area is the curved surface area plus the top surface and the bottom surface. So we take into inclusion all the three regions, the curved part plus area of circle or top circle and area of bottom circle. So curved surface, area of top circle and area of bottom circle. So I get this to be 2 pi r hatch plus pi r square plus pi r square. So here this can be simplified. Pi r square plus pi r square is 2 pi r square which can be further simplified to take 2 pi r common or h plus r interchanging r and h I get 2 pi r into r plus h. Therefore total surface area denoted by TSA of a cylinder is 2 pi r to r plus h unit square. That's how we understand the total surface area of a cylinder on the top and bottom included is 2 pi r into r plus h unit square where r is the radius and h is the height of the cylinder if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus